Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Cart Crazy. Our neighborhood golf cart Christmas parade is right around the corner and we've got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jeff, that doesn't look like a golf cart to me, and you're right, but in order to have lights on the golf cart, we need something to power it with, and I have tried the battery-operated ones, and there's some things you can do with inverters, but if you're going to go big and be crazy like me, you need some big power to do it. So let's take a look and see what we're working with. All right, here it is. Um, this is a Honda EU2200i. They actually call it an inverter. I call it a generator. Um, pretty nice little unit. If you've ever done anything with uh, generators, um, these are super quiet and very reliable. Honda makes a really nice generator. This would be just enough power, actually probably a little too much for what we're going to use it for. But here's the story on it. Um, actually found this uh, when I was out on my route working one day. Gentleman had it. And this has been several years ago. And, and uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, honestly. I, I think it was either 400 or 450 And if you look around, I haven't looked lately, but last I looked, I thought they were like 12 or 1300 for one of these. I could be wrong. Uh, pretty low hours on it, from what I understand. Um, he did put these uh, hooks on it, and the reason being, they used it when they were camping, and um, he ran a, a ratchet strap through here and fastened it um, to something. But... Anyway, I was talking to the guy, and I said, does it run? And he said, oh, yeah, it runs great. And it was completely out of gas. So the only gas he had laying around was for his weed eater, which, of course, is mixed with oil. And uh, he dumped that in there. I don't even know if there's any in there. Yeah, looks like there's a little in there. And, of course, I don't want to run that for any length of time, and it's probably pretty old by now anyway. Like I said, it's been several years. So my plan is today is just kind of give it a once over. I've never ever worked on one of these, or at least not this particular model. Um, I imagine there's probably a, a fuel shut off on here. And a, what do we got? Yeah, right there. We turned the fuel off at least, so that was good. But we'll get this cover off. What I'd like to do, like I said, is drain that old gas. And then I've got some other old gas that we can put in there. But at least it's not mixed. and you know, hopefully it doesn't smell like varnish. So let's tear into it and see what we got. All right, popped a couple of the covers off. And uh, he said it was really low hours. And if this is the original air cleaner, air filter, I mean, look at it in there. It looks like brand new. Can't complain about that a bit. So I see a drain here coming off the carburetor. So what I'm hoping to be able to do is uh, turn the fuel on and then crack this screw loose and we can drain all that old gas. The other option would be just to tip the thing upside down, I suppose, and dump the gas out of the tank, which may be easier the more I think about it. But that's kind of what it looks like under the cover. Uh, I see it's got an oil fill here, and that's probably where you check it as well. We'll get into that a little bit later. And then on the other side... Um, you know, if you needed to service the spark plug, it's got a nice little uh, access panel for that. So pretty neat little unit. Um, see there's an on-off valve on the uh, gas cap as well. That's just a vented cap. That's what that would be for. Tons of cobwebs. Like I said, I bought this thing years ago. I actually had it sitting in my storage and uh, decided to probably time to put this thing to use. So let me let me figure out how to get this old gas out of here and We'll go from there. This goes down into the gas tank and catches any dirt or debris. Doesn't look too bad. I see there's a, I don't know if that's a part of an old gas can or what down in there. Not 100% sure. I'll probably just blow that out with a little bit of air. I knocked most of it out by hand. I'm going to go ahead and 
take this screw out or at least loosen it up out of the bottom of the carburetor. And uh, number one, it's going to drain any yucky sediment that might be in that carburetor from sitting. And uh, number two, we should be able to drain the gas out if my theory is correct here. All right, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, the more I got to looking at it, this actually has a fuel pump on it. I was thinking it was a gravity feed for whatever reason. Um, so my theory of draining the carb obviously wouldn't work uh, unless it was running or if the carburetor already had fuel in it. But I believe what we did is we shut it off until it ran out of fuel because that's the proper way to do it. Keeps all the fuel out of the carburetor and so on. So I ended up just dumping it out, gave it one more try. It didn't work the first time, but I must have not uh, tried hard enough, I guess, but there wasn't much in there. Maybe, I don't know, a half a cup, maybe a cup um, of fuel got that out. So as clean as everything looks under here, I think I'm just going to put the um, fuel filter back in. And then go ahead and clean up um, some of the cobwebs and dirt off of here. Like I said, we'll get some old fresh gas in there and uh, see if we can't make it run again. Here we go. Put our uh, screen slash filter back in. That looks really good. Drop that in there. And then I've got some, uh, this should be 93. That's the only thing I buy for, uh, in fact, it is. I shouldn't, I'm not going to say should be because it doesn't smell too bad. Uh, it's what I use in the generator, and I know it wasn't too terribly long ago um, that I bought fuel for the, or pressure washer, sorry. Um, and it smells decent yet, so it's got to be better than the mixed gas that was in there for sure. So we'll give her a little drink here and check the oil. I haven't done that yet. She's a thirsty little bugger. Sounds like it's getting near the top now. Kind of watching so I don't... Make a mess all over here. Of course, the amount that I put in there would probably run for five hours running Christmas lights. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put any more in. That's plenty. All right, our cap is in the on position. Which makes me wonder, as clean as that air filter was, if this thing's ever had a service oil change. It might be on the original oil. I'll uh, probably have to pick up some oil and change that. Well, it looks nice and clean yet. Really clean. All right, I think that's good. We're about halfway up the stick. So that should be fine. All right, thought I'd bring you in a little closer. Um, just checking out the warning here, never to use it inside the garage. Well, I'm in the garage, so let's go ahead and just ignore that for the time being. Here's what the front looks like. I don't know if I showed you a good picture of that or not. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Looks like it's got a eco throttle mode which I believe powers it down a little when you're not when it's not under a load. Uh, it's got a circuit protector. Yeah I think uh, I think we're ready to 
see if this thing will run for a minute. Our fuel is on. Go ahead and choke it. I think that's all there is to it. Oh, it almost wanted to run right there. That's it. Runs like a million bucks. Whew, doesn't take long to get stinky in here. I better open up the door. I guess those warnings are probably a good thing to heed. Wow, it wasn't even smoking. Did take a few more pulls than I thought, but it has been sitting for a long time. I can't I can't remember if I bought it last summer. I think it was. Well, I don't know now. It might have been. I don't know. I can't remember. I've had it a while. Let's put it that way. Cool. Let's uh, let's give it a quick little wipe down and uh, put the panels back on. We should be good. It's time to see if this works. Probably don't need to choke it, being it was just running a minute ago. Boom. Nice and quiet, too. Should be able to drive through the parade without any real major concerns. I could probably even bungee cord it to the step back here. Well... I think we're ready for the Christmas parade, at least as far as the power goes. we got to figure out how to string the lights up and do all that, but a little bit of duct tape and some zip ties, and we should be in business. So I know it wasn't completely golf cart related, but appreciate you coming along for this episode. Stay tuned. We've got lots more to come. See you next time on Cart Crazy.